Mystery pack testing. Are they still good? Are they still good? Um, people have said the market is flooded. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so we're going to take, it's approximately 600,000 coins. It was actually less than that uh, to get these two cards right here. Less than that. You see our coins at 23.9. So ideally we would want to get back to 24.5 at the end of this. Now the big question is, what do you keep and what do you sell? Some people have said they sell. Uh, this is all from the comment section. 84s and higher. Some people sell, they say 81s and 86s and higher. So I, I don't know. Um, so what I'm going to do initially here is open them all up and we're going to see what we get. And then we'll go back and like, really, <laughs> what do we get like 10 minutes the other day without getting any one of these? Uh, but we're just going to roll through it blindly at this point. The first one. See what we end up getting from out of all of these packs and then decide the quick sell, keep, not keep, all that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, and kind of go from there. Redux! 87. Nice. Nice. Oh, I say, what if we got a full one there? Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Some people use a lot of sets to do stuff like that. I know someone like, uh, like Buffalo K is really big into doing sets to make coins. If you have the time and you want to do stuff, that's, that's all on you, right? That's on you. A platinum. We can quick sell the platinums. Uh, that's part of the hope. So the reason why people say to do certain things is you can get decent value out of these. Like they don't quick sell for a lot, like 170, right? But you would need, what is it? Six, six of them to get one more pack. And if you can get it for sell it for 24,000, you, you, you are indeed making coins that way. So what that the slight idea is to make as many coins as you can off of the cards that sell for more than trading value. And then if you need to go rebuy cards to, to roll more or something, that's what you would do. Okay. That's what a lot of people like to do. That's what they are doing. So this is what we're going to go. And see, and I'm not going to do it the most efficient way because if we did it the most efficient way, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it would work out okay, but not everyone, you are not going to sit there and do things hyper efficiently. You know what I mean? And what you're really hoping to do is just get some good cards, get some pack luck. Like that's to me is to stay alive. Hopefully get some pack luck. We do not have pack luck right now. We are getting way too many 70 pluses here. Um, so this might just mean that we're going to lose today. But again, to me, there's always a cost associated with my time and the fun that I can have put in the game. So if you don't pull any actual good cards, it, it doesn't matter. There's no, there's no way around it. You know what I mean? Uh, like 481's there. Uh, that pack, in theory, should get you, you know, do okay. Should do okay. Let's see. Uh, Russian packs. Obviously, there's potential to get something out of these. You, you don't really get a lot of stuff. Uh, but to me, how I made my coins, the few times I've done this have actually been with platinums. And I think that's strictly because with the overall kind of that's in packs right now, like the overalls that these packs give out are those prime platinum overalls, those 83s and 84s. And I don't know if the odds on platinums are different or not different than other things. Uh, hard to tell, but we aren't getting anything here. And again, I don't want to go and sell a bunch of 81s and 82s. So a lot of this stuff is going to be quick sold. We're pulling a lot of 70 pluses right now. I think that's four or so I don't think this one's going to go very well. I'm just saying that I do not think we are going to do very well on this pack opening. What you really need are core elite packs. If you can get those and they are very, very rare, you can do okay on this. Like you need to hit some of those core elite packs, right? Or some of the most feared packs where you get those 87s. Um, always a fingers crossed there. The 84s and 87s pop out of these decently, not always, but decently enough. None there. So I think we're going to lose today. Just, just, just straight based off this, unless we just hit, hit a good lick 
And then I would have to quick sell uh, a bigger, a biggish card that we pulled or pull a big card at this point. Um, because I don't, I don't see a lot going well for us here. I really don't. I really don't. Again, I, I think people kind of misconstrued and I was like, I think these are good. Like I lost coins. Didn't say they were guaranteed coins. That's not a, th like if that was a thing, we would call it a glitch. We'd be like, these are glitched. These are wrong. I don't really think any of those statements is true. 86 will clap. Again, do you sell will clap? I don't know. I don't know. Do you quick sell them? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we want to do here. Uh, the red zone, something. Hey, 85. Okay. 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 This is a long first half of the video. <laughs> this is what I mean. Like you get to spend your time. Otherwise, if you opened, uh, like the legend packs this weekend, would you open them for three and a half minutes and you're out a million coins? Mm, I don't know about that. Not good. Uh, Gridiron Guardians packs are terrible. Terrible. I never get anything out of those things. Uh, too many 70 pluses. I don't care what we got in there. It's not good. It's not good. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. So we, we're losing. We're losing. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever it is. I don't care. Don't care. We're losing on them. Uh, I did not want to do this and just like outright lose because we got too many 70 plus packs. But I think that's what's happening. But we've got some platinums. We've got 60,000 in platinums here. 10% of our coins back just on little tiny plat, like baby platinums, honestly. Uh. An 84 is nice. An 84 is nice. Come on. Come on. I think I'm just going to quick sell most of this stuff, honestly, and just try it again. I think if we can survive, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. 83s. Again, if I'm, I probably will quick sell something that maybe I should have sold. Maybe, maybe, maybe not perfectly ideal. It's fine. I want, my, my goal is different here. Red zone, not a big one. Okay. 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 Almost done. Then I'm going to take this break and we're going to see how we did. I don't think we did very well, honestly. I do not. Two more. But again, this took eight minutes, nine minutes to go through all of this. And then we could just recycle again. Like if I can open packs for 30 or 45 minutes and just lose a few coins, I'm totally fine with that. That's a cool pack. That was a cool pack. One more. Uno mas. Uno mas. All right. This this has some hope. Four leads can be good. They can be good. Come on. E6. Okay. Whatever. With football season right around the corner, there's no better time to check out prize picks than today. To win, all you need to take is your sports knowledge into the app, pick more or less, and you can win up to 100 times your money. And for new users right now, if you sign up using code CC, all you have to do is make your first deposit, play a lineup, and you will get $50 in credit instantly into your account. And to sign up, all you have to do is click the link in the description down below or go to the App Store. Either way, make sure you are using code CC when you sign up. So it's time to check out Prize Picks, get winning, have some fun, boys. Let's get back to the video. Let's have a great day. Good luck on all your lineups. If you're looking to build the best team in Madden, make sure you avoid the packs and save some racks. Heading over to MMOEXP.com. Use my code CC for 5% off. Link is in the description down below. So we ended up with, if I just kept these three cards, our three highest cards, 22,000. I'm going to quick sell them. So we're at 28,000. So we lost 6,000 training, but we gained... 60,000 coins. Is that a good trade off? I don't know. I'm going to kind of go through here now, show you guys highlights and kind of do it like a little bit slower method now, because again, it's, it's to me, how long can I play? 
Can I, can I make some coins? Can I do some of that? Again, I think there's a really, really efficient ways to do it. I'm just not going to do it those hyper efficient ways. So we're going through again now and got some stuff for sale. I think after seeing the numbers and I think you either have to do one of two ways. One, you got to get lucky and then you can kind of do what you want. Or two, if you are not getting lucky with like decent pulls, I think you need to take the time to sell. If you really like care about the coin count that much and it's really, really particular for you, you've got to do it that way. Okay. I think you do. I don't think there's any way around it. So a good example, this card, right? Uh, you could quick sell it, but his normal price, his base price is 6,800. If you're lazy, just quick sell it again. But here it's like, you should throw them up for something. And then like you would use those coins to buy more packs again. If that makes sense. I, I, I hope it does. And I think it does, but if you're not going to do it that way, it, it, it's up to you. It's up to you, right? It's completely up to you, but we've been doing this for a while now. And I think we're going to end up losing, I don't know, maybe half the coins, 50% return. Um, unless we get lucky with something, which obviously could, could happen. It's there was one card away, one pack away. Right. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I would rather not take as much time when it comes to like being really particular with selling the cards and checking on them. Cause you can only list 20 at a time. And there's a lot of them on the market right now. And are people really buying all these cards? Nah, I don't know. You gotta be real. You gotta be real patient. <laughs> I, I am not a patient person when it comes to that. <laughs> so I would rather rip, 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 quick sell, do all that. Um, be smart enough with what you pull, you know, like this. Should you, is this a quick sell? No, it's not. <laughs> well, I don't know why it's super expensive, but you should sell it. So you have to know those certain things. So if you're never sure, just take the price of your card. Let's finish off here. I'm going to keep opening and. Just see where we end up getting to now. All right, this is pr it's probably the last pack. Probably last pack. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, is 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 our best shot at something? Eighty-five. It's an eighty-five. Okay. Okay. If we quick sell it, do we have enough? No, we don't. We still don't. So I guess we. You shouldn't really post them, but I'm I'm, I'm going to post them just because we, we technically wouldn't have enough training otherwise to do another pack. So just to cash out part. So this is where we are again. I think a couple things here. One, I think we got very unlucky with our packs. Two, the best pulls was that 87 Ladanian Thompson and there was an 87 Dre Greenlaw in there. Those were the absolute best pulls. And this is what we have left to sell, as you can see here. So... Let's add this as 11, 19, 29, 40, 50, 66, 84, 108, 132, 156, one, we'll call it 180 because of tax, 210, 280. We have 280,000 more coins, give or take, to sell up here. So that means. We can just, just for the math purposes, round it to 300. I know it's not going to be exactly 300. That would put us at 24.3, 24.4, somewhere in there. We need to get to 24.5 to break even. Our packs were not very good. I did this very inefficiently. And we are only going to end up losing about 20% of our coins. And I was able to do this for 30 to 45 minutes. I think it was kind of worth it for me in that case. If you did a better job with it, maybe you could have broken even on here. Too many 70 pluses, not any really good pulls. And we did okay. I don't know. Just information. If you guys do this, let me know down below in the comments. <sighs> All right. Have a good day. I'm out. Peace.